Hi Taurus, welcome to your August 2021 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This will not resonate with every Taurus that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message in this reading may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Taurus, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers! You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Taurus and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the most. All right, Taurus, let's get started. So, Taurus, for this reading, I'm tuning into an energy that is in or around your energetic field of someone who has romantic feelings and intentions towards you, whether you know it or not, whether you're together or apart. Wow. Taurus, someone has been waiting to tell you something, has been waiting for the right time has gone back and forth, not sure when I should say this to Taurus, when I should... It feels like a confession, to be honest, but not, um, you know, something that's going to make you not want to be with them anymore, not interested in them, in them anymore. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about how they feel about you, where they see this going. For some of you, I feel like this is an offer of a commitment um, but asking you to be theirs, to be solidified, even for some of you, I feel like a marriage proposal or something very serious that they have to say. I mean, but it's like they waited so long to tell you this and they're very cautious. They're very nervous to bring this up in case they don't know how you'll react, what you'll say. Would you accept this? Would you reject this? This is what's been running through their mind about you, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, they've been keeping something. They haven't been fully fully transparent in what's really been on their mind about you, Taurus. Um, and I know you feel that you know there's something more that they haven't said, but you were patient with them. And I do feel with this patience that it's really helped them feel more comfortable around you. I feel this person... I mean, with you, Taurus, it's like they get really nervous. They get really, you know, they they try so hard to do everything right, to say everything right, um, because they really feel like this could lead to their ten of pentacles with you. They feel like this could be the person they've been waiting for. So now it's time to speak up. Now it's time to say something about it. Libra energy. Now, I feel you're still connected to this person. You're still talking to this person. I still feel it's very current energy. But, you know, it's like that energy of where you know they were about to say something when you were, you know, sitting next to each other, holding each other, looking into each other's eyes, and you know something was about to come up, and then they pulled back. And they pulled back because of this Knight of Pentacles energy just wanting to make sure everything is right, everything is perfect, everything is turning out to w the way they want it to be before they take that final step, that final jump and final move. I'm getting that someone could have recently had a cold, 
a flu. Hopefully it wasn't COVID. I'm so sorry if that's the case. I hope you guys recover very soon or that you're recovering now or maybe they had, um, which has maybe kind of put this on pause in some sort of way. But for most of you, yeah, they weren't revealing something to you. And I feel it has to do a lot about, um, it has a lot to do with a declaration like of love. And I know that may sound kind of cheesy or corny, whatever the case, but it's absolutely true here. Um, I keep on hearing a museum. I don't know if someone lives by a museum. If you guys have been to the museum together, maybe someone's into art. Um, I'm getting that someone could have taken art history in college, or maybe that was someone's major in school. Um, someone could also have like a very, a tattoo that is like dedicated to like an artistic sculpture, painting, um, an artist maybe. Now I'm hearing Picasso, but let's go ahead and dive into this because I want to see what they have to say. Because at the center of this Taurus, Ace of Swords. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They are ready to tell you this. They're ready to move forward with having you as theirs and them as yours. They are ready to put this on lock. They're ready to really fully be open and vulnerable in the way they've never have. And since knowing you, since hanging out with you, since bonding with you, it's becoming a bigger and a bigger hunch to tell you everything that they feel, everything that they want to say. You've really pierced their heart in a way that has never been pierced before. And for some of you, it's going to be the conversation that's going to change everything. It's going to give you a better understanding of what they want from this. You're no longer going to be kind of, you know, with this four swords waiting for them to say something that you always know that they had to say, wanted to say. It's just your gut feeling, Taurus. Let me clarify this um, Ace of Swords. I want to get juicier and deeper into this because I don't want to just be basic. Oh, the world. Fixed energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy here. Okay, so there's a couple things I'm getting from this. Um, I mean, for some of you, this is taking it to the next level. You know, you guys have been talking. You've been really feeling each other. You've been falling in love. But now, let's make it official. And, you know, kind of in this image, but also in the traditional Rider Waite tarot, you see this woman kind of, well, you really don't know. It's kind of an androgynous type of figure here, but they're half naked. And... The center of this is the person in the middle of the card. It's like they're ready to be vulnerable. They're ready to be open, which is going to be the breakthrough in this connection. But really, it's all focused on you, Taurus. It really is. They want to have the world with you. They want to have every experience with you. Uh, really, they haven't gotten you off their mind ever since you guys first connected, ever since you met. bottom of the deck is the devil. Wow. Capricorn energy. So don't freak out. <laughs> what you feel with this is that everything that was keeping them silent, fears, insecurities, uncertainties, um, you know, that was something that they've struggled with within themselves, not just in regards to you, but, you know, some sort of past that has bounded them to these behaviors of not really sure, not knowing when the right time is to speak. And I feel even, Taurus, that they were hopefully waiting for you to reach out and say all this or for you to take that leap, but they kind of picked up that you were waiting for them to do it. And maybe it's because you already felt like you've already done enough. You've already um, said everything there is to say. But with this devil energy, they're breaking past and breaking through the fears of rejection, the fears of what if they don't feel the same way. They're really ready to make this happen, period. And I even feel for some of you, like they're going to offer to go on a trip with you or to take you on a trip. Um, maybe I'm hearing like meet the family in some case. I kind of picked up on that in your last reading, but even if they're uh, 
they just really want it, everyone to know that you guys are together, that this is going to be solid. And as long as you're willing to work with them, they're willing to work with you. And you know, for someone, maybe they have had like a very troubled past in some sort of way, and it's been really hard for them to talk about it. Or maybe even very recently, they revealed something to you about their past that they haven't told very many people but they've told you because they feel safe with you. They feel that you're their support system, you're their rock in some sort of way for those of you that resonates with. I'm also hearing something about Hawaii. Um, I don't know if someone lives in Hawaii. Um, they could be Hawaiian descent. Anyway, let's keep going. What's crossing us is the Knight of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. You know, the time is right now. They waited long enough. They were observing, they were analyzing, they were overthinking just so they could have all their plans right of when to ask you. But this it does serve as a warning in some way, I feel. The longer you wait, the longer the moment is going to pass. The longer someone's going to feel like they're just not interested. The longer someone is just going to think that, you know, it's going too slow. Um, I'm seeing someone that has like some sort of a scar on their wrist or maybe a, ta a wrist tattoo perhaps. A little symbol is what I'm hearing. But I feel this sense that with this Knight of Pentacles crossing everything, um, you know, if you needed to know anything, Taurus, it's that they wanted to make 100% sure the timing was right. And maybe because before, um, I don't know, there was just some sort of rejection they may have experienced in the past. Maybe there was some sort of, again, fear of what would, it would mean to fully pursue this with you. Someone gets the sense maybe that like, or was afraid for the fact that you weren't ready to commit yet, that you wanted to be single longer, especially if you just got out of a karmic maybe. What's crowning this reading is the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. They've been thinking a lot about how they're going to move forward in this, how they're going to ask you about this, when, how they're going to bring up the topic. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I'm hearing next weekend. Some of you may have plans for next weekend, um, this weekend, I guess, or that's when they're going to kind of fully say it all out to you. But, and I'm also seeing August 8th. That may be an important date for some of you. I mean, maybe under the Lionsgate portal is when everything's going to open and shift. But most definitely, they're moving forward in their decision of being with you. They don't want you to think that they're not interested. They don't want you to think that they don't care. And I don't think you really feel that way, Taurus. But it's still kind of frustrating to wait so long for something you know deep down they feel. They're picking up on that as well. If you guys do live at a distance from each other, again, with this whole travel thing, they may want to plan on coming see, coming to see you, even with restrictions, even with things closed down. I feel like nothing would stop them from really talking to you face to face about what it is you mean to them and what it is they want from this. I feel like you guys FaceTime a lot if you're not together. Um, maybe you've recently received a missed FaceTime call from them where they didn't answer yours, but they will. <laughs> <laughs> what's reading this is the king of cups scorpio energy there there's not a doubt that they have strong feelings for you or even for some of you that they love you and maybe that's the truth that's going to be spoken and said i love you i want you in my life there's no one else i could see myself being with and I think what you really like about this person, Taurus, 
or what they really like about you take it as it resonates someone it's not that they're protective but like they have this energy of being very safe um, like knowing that they're very protective of you if anyone tries to talk you know crap about you say something disrespectful about you they're quick to correct them I mean there a lot of emotions arise from within them when you come up in conversation they want to protect you they want to, you to feel safe with them as much as they feel strong and secure and safe under you they have a plan of you know not just fully declaring everything that they feel about you but really having a future with you having a home with you having kids with you and leaving a legacy of you guys being that couple or that love story that everyone wants and again this doesn't mean to say that you guys are the 100% fairy tale, nothing bad ever happens, but, you know, even through the bad times, they still feel the best with you. They still feel it's nothing you guys can't get through, nothing that can fully break the two of you. And I'm hearing something about a bridge. Someone could live by a bridge or like you have to go on a bridge and cross a bridge in order to go to where they live or where you live. Um, now I'm hearing that song by Chingy, One Call Away. God, that's a throwback. <laughs> um, so that call, that song may resonate with you in some way, One Call Away. They feel like they could just call you, Taurus, and you guys would be down to hang out. Or if, you know, you're busy in some sort of way, you, you guys will, like, make it happen in a few hours. Um, really, you just have such an emotional vulnerability with each other that feels so secure and safe and really beautiful. I don't know. Like, they're the type of person that if they have nothing to do and they're bored, they call you to hang out or just talk to you. If you're at a distance, they just love even hearing your voice on the phone. That was weird. I just kind of felt like I don't know if they did this as a joke or maybe you have, but just like a lick on the neck or a lick on the cheek. That was weird. Maybe someone has a dog or someone could be born near the dog in Chinese astrology. Let's keep going. And the recent past is the hanged man. Yeah, a lot of waiting, a lot of thinking, reflecting. I mean, to even just imagine putting themselves out there at first, again, and maybe the devil type of energy was influencing them that it could be really scary. Who knows what they'll say once I declare my feelings? Who knows what they'll think once I really say I want to be with you and only you and I have no intentions of being with anyone else? You know, I, it's all these different feelings that are stirring up within them about you, Taurus, that have put them in a different place, an uncomfortable place, but a needed place. You know, the only way you can really grow is when you do things that are out of the ordinary, that are out of your comfort zone. And that's where it evolves. That's where it really goes to the next level that they want to take it with the world. And you see, even in this imagery, how enticed this man is with this woman. Completely only think about you only sees you, only wants you. What you need to know about this situation, Taurus, Ten of Pentacles, what a great card to have, Virgo energy. This could be it. This could be the person that you've been looking for, you've been wanting to have. Um, I mean... Maybe even there's some insecurities rising up from this Taurus because they can't believe you're the person that's interested in them. I don't know why there's some sort of fear of like uh, being out of someone's league or that kind of energy. Or, you know, is Taurus too good for me? Again, and that could come from some sort of past of insecurities that have been holding them back for a while, but 
you really have everything that they would ever want. You really are someone that could give them everything that they could dream of in a relationship, in a connection. They thought about marriage with you, absolutely. They thought about commitment with you. And they really love everything about you from head to toe. You're their type is what I'm hearing. You're each other's type. And that's the thing too with the um, Knight of Pentacles. This person's very, very picky. And you're that rare find that meets all their criteria physically, emotionally, mentally. And that's why they want to, you know, put a ring on it for sure. But first is the step of fully declaring this as the Ace of Swords is the center of it all. For the likely outcome of this situation, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a card from the Messages of Love Oracle cards. And I'm going to see if there's anything else you need to know about this situation. About this connection. Abundance. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, I really do feel the search is over, the wait is over. You really have found the person. They feel they found you. Now it's time to take it to the next level so you guys can start building that foundation because this connection is abundant and they feel abundance with you. There's an abundance of love. There's an abundance of passion. There's abundance of partnership between the two of you. They've just been a bit shy about saying all this or really unsure what you were going to say. But again, the more they hang out with you, the, the more they know it's right. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. And that's kind of what I was picking up in the beginning, Taurus. Like really, that's why you knew it was up to them now because you did everything you could. You've put in the effort. You've put in the time. You've put in the patience and the love. And now it's about to all be rewarded back to you. Ooh, soulmate. Yeah. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Amazing. And I'm really drawn to these, like, I don't think these are cherry blossoms, but <laughs> I just heard cherry blossoms. So, um, you know, you, someone could have, like, cherry blossoms around where they live or has some sort of resonance with the cherry blossom tree in some way. But there's no doubt that this person feels like you're their soulmate. And I think you feel that way too, Taurus. But now it's all unfolding the way it needs to. They're building up the courage to speak up, to say this. And now it's all going to happen for the two of you. But to see how it's going to happen, how it's going to evolve, how it's going to be taken to the next level, what's going to, you know, unfold in the month of August, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there. You can open up the description box and find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the reading. I'm going to overturn this card here, and I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you guys as well to dive deeper into this connection and let you know anything else you need to know about it for your highest and greatest good. But if this is where we depart, Taurus, I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.